Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss the twin flame dynamic. Many of you are having trouble with your twins. I want to remind you that the twin flame union is sacred. It's divine. Your twin is your mirror. Your twin is all of what you are in this lifetime and others and vice versa. They are you. Your energies are mirrored to one another. If you are listening, you most likely have gone through the pain and trauma associated with the physical separation that happened. This physical separation was supposed to happen because it has a higher purpose. The physical separation happened for you to grow and evolve into your best self. During the separation, you both are supposed to be working on shedding the parts of you needed in order to shift into the higher parts of you. Your higher self is helping you with this integration. For most of you, you feel like you have been working on yourself for a long time and you don't see the outcome manifested on the physical plane. There are many things involved with this and so just keep on working on yourself. Focus on you and not time because time is just an illusion. If you want to manifest it quicker, you must focus on you. To most of you, it is unbearable to be without your twin on the physical level. But let me tell you, your twin is always with you, no matter what. In physical separation, I'm sure you have smelled your twin or you've heard a song that you two loved. See, you both share this unique energetic consciousness. Picture it as a bright star of energy including all the energies of all lifetimes you've shared together. Regardless of your physical separation, you are always communicating with one another telepathically, whether you or your twin are aware of this or not. That's why you can feel their energies at times and their emotions, and they feel yours. Before you both reincarnated, you were together in the, this energetic star I'm talking about, and you both decided on what you want to learn. Some lessons were mutual and some different, for not all of your karma is shared. So you both vowed to help each other learn some of the harder lessons. For all of the twin fames, I could say, that forgiveness is the main chosen lesson. Because forgiveness leads to unconditional love and unconditional love is the essence of the twin flame union. And this is why your twin hurt you the way they did. They hurt you like no other person ever has. I'm sure all of you say that to yourselves when you analyze your connection. Whatever you can stand to be done to you, that's what your twin did to you, and that's what caused the separation. For example, if your twin cheated on you or lied to you, ask yourself, how can I, how can I no, how am I, I'm sorry, how am I cheating on myself? Or what am I not being true to myself with? This example could also be karmic. As I've seen, 
as a past life regressionist. For example, you could have cheated on your twin in another life and now the tables are turned in this lifetime. I know for most of you in this lifetime that is hard to fathom, like no way I would never do that. But it's possible and I've seen the evidence to prove it. This is just a form manifested on the physical of your lessons. It could be manifested in different forms and any form is going to be ugly for you and you are going to feel like you have hit rock bottom. The energies of these lessons are meant to be extreme that's why your twin flame union connection has felt like the lowest of the lows and the highest of the highs. Because what your union needs, which is one of the main goals, is balance. Which is another ingredient for the twin flame formula. It's the balance, the yin and yang, the sun, the moon. Your higher self is helping you to both shed all the parts of you that is necessary. All the attachments, the programming that is not serving you. You are shedding parts of you like a snake, which is transformation. You are shedding parts of you to transform into a higher state of consciousness and balance. So many energies are being worked on during the separation. If you are not resisting, some of you have asked, why does the divine masculine take so long in the awakening process? That is how it's meant to be. The divine feminine is meant to wake up sooner and raise her frequencies because it's the divine feminine that holds the space for both of your transformations. You see, when the divine feminine works on herself energetically, spiritually, whatever you want to call it, even in the astrals, she will be able to step into her full power and like a magnet, attract her twin back to her. But there is a catch to this. The divine feminine must fully forgive the divine masculine or none of it will work. The divine feminine must forgive herself too. Any anger, resentment, and sadness are all lower frequencies. Since unconditional love is the key to the twin flame union and the merge, the ingredient is forgiveness. If you are having trouble with forgiveness, I can help you. So basically, the divine feminine works on the forgiveness first because you can't get far without it. And even if you're meditating and working on the astral, it doesn't matter because the first ingredient is forgiveness. Once you fully have forgiveness and then unconditional love consumes you. As you shift to the higher frequencies, your higher self will integrate with you fully and that's when the magic begins and the miracles. The reunion begins on the physical. I have a separate meditation for that coming soon also, specifically guided for twin flames. But first, you must start the guided meditation that I have for unconditional love, which is real love. This is the twin flame merging is the most beautiful transformation I've ever seen. This is what the twin flame union is about. It is blissful. 
And once you do all the work, it is worth it. You need to trust in this divine union and use the formula. For all of you who still have anger, resentments, and sadness in any area of your life, you don't have to even know your twin or be a twin. All of you should be unconditional love because that's the basis of real love. So subscribe below if you like to hear and my guided meditation that I'll be posting soon. And thank you all for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Bless you all.